when I say bananas, you say peppers. And you guys are about to see what happens when I get a random DIY idea planted in my brain at 3 a.m. Um, I don't know why I always say 3 a.m. Sometimes it's 5 a.m., you guys. Sometimes, um, especially once it's daylight savings time, I cannot fall asleep at a normal hour for some reason. So I'm just like, you know, thinking like, what what little crafty project can I lay my phalanges on? So a couple of, uh, maybe more than a couple, honestly, you guys, maybe like six months or so ago, I got recommended, I want to say it was like a random YouTube short. And it was somebody customizing a doll. It was like an old American girl doll. And I think they were doing it with a little bit more purpose than me because they were trying to make it look like, isn't it? Elphaba. I loved Wicked when I saw it like a thousand years ago, but I'm so bad with names. But they were taking an old American Girl doll and they were like upcycling it and they submerged the doll's head in like a mason jar of writ dye. And like that, like sometimes I have these pictures of crafts or just other things. Like it, it's like if I see something so interesting and so like visually weird to me like it's almost like it gets burned into my brain and then like every couple of months I'll be like mm, should I try this DIY should I try this DIY and I don't I don't know you guys so I bet y'all can guess what's in this box I have a scary eBay box again that I bought y'all normally I add like the weird okay I did add this like part of the person's address from the eBay store part of their address was here so I did tape a silica gel packet to consider seal their old address but there's like drips on this box like the, the box I mean it is recycled so that's good but the box does look crusty it looks intimidating and I think the dolls inside are gonna be very crusty and intimidating so ever since I seen that video like honestly you guys I want to just jump back into doing like random crafts it's this is a very wordy video as they all are <clears throat> but I feel like I used to feel like much more creative and energetic etc etc et when I did less like scrolling and more like painting and dyeing clothes and other like random things so I definitely am making that a goal and a priority to do in 2024 um no matter whether it's like a silly project or just like maybe I don't know like finger painting or something um I restarted my junk journal I just want to like deep dive back in into arts and crafts with or without clear purpose. I could not sleep many nights ago and I was like looking at eBay auctions because I wanted to find truly thrashed American Girl dolls. Um, bottom of the barrel American Girl dolls. I kind of just want to like give them new life but at the same time make them very, very funky. And I don't know, I want to get back into the world of Rit Dye. You guys, I used to like use Rit Dye like three times a week I went through a whole phase in my life where I thought I absolutely could not wear any other color other than black so I would take like all my clothes and dunk them in just buckets and buckets of red dye. Anyway, three, three thrashed American Girl dolls are in this box. I had a couple of different auctions that I was looking at. They both looked scary. I did want them to look like kind of ghastly, kind of creepy. I think I want to dye mine blue. And I have other ideas for this project. Guys, I think I'm gonna call the doll Lily D. I never name any of my dolls, but you'll have to let me know if you ever went through a phase of watching the R.L. Stein haunting hour. If so, you'll know what I mean when I say Lily D. But I just thought that would kind of be like a funny joke, you guys. I don't know. I got some paper. <gasps> oh, oh, look at them. They're hanging out in there. Should that be the thumbnail? <gasps> um, 
Um, okay, so there definitely was one which caught my eye. Oh, the other thing that I was trying to type in was, it's not called crazing, because that's the, that's what I look for when I collect my creepy babies. Uh, that's what the technical name is for like when you get the um, kind of like paper doll composition dolls and they start to get all like cracked and peely and the paint flecks off or if they just have like a lot of the lines and stuff on their face, that's called crazing. So there's something where I think specifically like American Girl dolls, if they've been exposed to too much like sunlight or heat, a lot of the eyes like go from whatever color they were. Maybe it is called silvering. Usually it doesn't look totally silver to me. It looks more like purple. So I think one of the dolls in this box has that going on, but I was trying to type that in and make that happen. Oh, yes. Oh yeah. Okay. So this, I really did like this one um, because I, oh, oh, it's even better than I thought. Okay. You guys. So we have option number one. You guys can help me like vote in the comments. Which one should I DIY first? I think I'm obviously like, I've got three dolls to experiment with. Why not? Uh, so this is option number one. Now this one really did catch my eye because look we're gonna try and make her blink but look okay I thought that the eyes were like aluminum um I don't know why I thought that that would be a possibility maybe because a lot of my old collector's dolls like that blink uh they do have like some kind of metal but look that you guys it looks like what happened was um she's got like all these kind of like crusties on her but I'm sure somebody just put like makeup on her um, so I think somebody probably like painted something on the eyelids and then tried to remove it because there's a little bit of faint like pink crust on her eyes. But I think this is even cooler than I thought because probably when they tried to remove the makeup, the paint, the nail polish, whatever, it looks like it actually lifted uh, some of the skin tone paint. So it looks like the eyelids are clear. <gasps> And now I'm kind of torn. I'm kind of torn with like dunking this one maybe because um, I, I have seen like most people who do these kinds of doll things professionally, they do take the eyes out and then push them back in, which I guess I could do. That seems like very intimidating to me. Like I literally was just gonna take the whole doll head and pff, dunk it in a tub of Rit dye. Um, but if it was metal, I feel like I could like do that really easily because like dye is not gonna stick to metal but I feel like that's so cool that like I would never see that effect twice on another doll um so I kind of don't want to just like die over it okay here we go option number two candidate number two. Oh yeah she was like definitely the most normal of the bunch let's say I like don't even really see anything different or I mean maybe the hair yeah the hair is a little knotted a little crusty but I mean honestly I feel like this is like a good quality quality doll like just in the condition that she's in um you know what I should have been telling y'all like oh she's from 2014 I'm kind of curious like how old these are because I know that like I know American Girl dolls have been around like forever like they were even around when I was a kid um and I never had one though because I'm pretty sure they're no less expensive now but these dolls were like so expensive there's her eyelids I really liked how this one had the ears pierced, but um, yeah, there we go. Ta-da, option, option number two. I don't feel like there's anything like too weird about her. So there's not really anything to discuss. If you guys know the makes and models of these dolls, I would be like very curious. I know they all have like different names. Once again, I'm not like really, like I don't know anything about like the American Girl doll stuff. Um, oh my God, she's 2008. Well, I guess I shouldn't say I don't know anything um, cause I do, I mean, no, I really don't. I don't know. I, I know that they exist. I know they're expensive. I know they have really awesome little like miniature accessories um and what else do I do what else do I know I don't know um okay so I think oh yeah this is the one um that I really liked and I didn't know if she was just like um winking in the picture or if like literally something is up with her eye but it does look like something is up with oh look you can get it to stay open but I just I really like this one you know um and 
And she has definitely that silvering, which I thought that she did. Oh, this eye is just like flopping around in there too. Um, look, oh, look, look, oh, it's kind of like, go oh, I love it, yes. Um, but you guys can see she has what I was trying to tell you guys about. I didn't know from the pictures because like the lighting wasn't the best. So I couldn't tell if she had like bright or like light blue eyes or if it was like the silvering, but I'm so excited that it's the silvering. So this one I think is actually quite an older American Girl doll. See, this is what I know um, is that uh, it used to be called the Pleasant Company. I know that that's like the older American Girl dolls. I feel like I did a little bit of research because years ago I made a video about what I thought was an American Girl doll, but then it ended up being like this really cooler kind of doll in my opinion, which I think it was called a My Life doll, where uh, people could actually make like a miniature for their kid basically. They did girl dolls and guy dolls and you could like even show like if you had like a mole or a beauty mark or something like they would hand paint it on they would match the kids eyes like the style of clothes they like the hair all kinds of stuff so I think at that point like I was trying to discover like what kind of doll that was because I got that like at the thrift store a thousand years ago and I I thought at the time I was buying an American Girl doll but I did not so this is option number three they all have like such weird little personalities you know oh my god her eye just opened hello um yeah so I kind of wanted to do like the whole um you know kitten caboodle here I had an idea like there's people that sell like uh really cool like scrap um acid dye or acid wash I don't know what it's I know acid wash is like the denim but this is like another like process anyway it looked really cool it was like a green metallic fabric so that's kind of what I have envisioned right now is I wanted to dye the doll blue and then I wanted to like cover the body in like a lime green with metallic uh kind of look to it you know I kind of just want to make it like a little fashion accessory I you y'all know that I like stuff like that especially if you follow me on snap I feel like I always have like I call it like a little passenger princess I just like to have like weird accessories like water bottles or weird little DIY doll crafts or like baby Shrek avatar baby or something you know just a little extra weird sprinkle of ambiance um so yeah I don't know how old this one is it does not have a tag or anything it just literally has um copyright pleasant company but I know that that means it's an older doll because then they were like bought out by somebody else I don't know um and uh, yeah it doesn't say the company or anything and I was gonna see oh yeah I told y'all 2008 so who do you think I should dye blue I feel like that's something else to potentially consider is these two dolls she has blue eyes and the other one has kind of the silver eyes so if I don't replace the eyes you know I don't know. I'm gonna have to like watch more videos on that. Oh, she says Pleasant Company too. Very, very random, I know. Uh, but I just wanted to share with you guys. Uh, let me know if y'all want me to make a video uh, actually dunking the doll in the writ dye. I was trying to find like a recipe for that the other day. I saw some people say do use the synthetic writ dye. I saw some other people say don't use the synthetic writ dye, just use like the normal writ dye and I'm also thinking about mixing like a couple different shades of like the blue and the purple because they have like sapphire blue um because I'm kind of I'm going for that like super like bright blue like not teal but like super bright blue yeah this is a very very random video I feel like oh my god also she has teeth <gasps> I like this one. Oh yeah I feel like I was like in the middle of um saying that sentence too I'm kind of torn like I was gonna to take the hair off um maybe like give them new hair you know maybe do some kind of DIY with that I feel like they all like need like piercings you know what I mean but can you give an American girl doll like a nose ring I feel like that would look really cool isn't it odd only this one has her ears pierced 
So this is gonna be exciting. I don't know, let me know what DIY I should do on them or if this is just like too weird for YouTube. I don't know. I kind of like to just share my DIY adventures with y'all on this channel or I wanna do more of that. I honestly like miss doing the stationary stuff too. I don't know. I just like to hang out um, and do random stuff but you know what I think I need to do with you guys next. Well, next I think I'm gonna fi film a um, pin and patch collection video. I just felt like that would be like something fun. And I have actually like gotten more requests on Snap lately to do more like collection videos. So yes, I'm feeling inspired. But the next, next thing um, that we need to do together after that is I got a Canon selfie and for some reason I'm intimidated to unbox it and to try and use it. So I got this during like the Amazon Prime, the last Amazon Prime Day sale, I think that just happened. You guys. But I really, really want to figure this out before the end of the year because I'm planning on using this full time. There are so many like Bujo, Mol not Moleskine, um, the thing that I use, Hobonichi. Lots of people in that community that I see on Instagram all the time love this thing, like rave about it all the time. But I feel like I'm intimidated because I'm gonna be scared if there's only a glossy photo paper option. I don't know about you guys, but I am a matte girly, hands down. I want everything to be printed matte. I've been like that forever now. Like whenever I actually have gotten physical photos printed over like the last 20 years, it always has to be matte. And so yeah, I keep like asking that question, like, and I'm not getting anything definitive, honestly, which is, so if you know, if you know, if you use a Canon selfie, please tell me if there is matte photo paper for this. I mean, it won't be like horrible if they only have glossy, but I am really rooting for matte, especially for like uh, planners and journaling and stuff like that. Cause I really feel like the rest of my vibe is matte. I like the texture of matte paper. Does that sound creepy? I don't know. Anyway, you guys, uh, thank y'all so, so much for hanging out in, with me in this random, absolutely random video. <laughs> thank y'all for hanging out with me. And if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Banana Peppers squad. And until I see you guys again, which is gonna be very, very soon, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love y'all, bye!